Hello everybody. After a long break I'm finally back to working on avos. Today I'm going to assemble the stern, attach top timbers and then attach the deck along with inner bulwark planks. Let's follow the instructions and assemble the stern and along with the upper part of the keel frame glue it to the assembled hull. The English translation was provided by www.craftasailor.com. I will bevel some stern parts after installing it on the hull. All parts must be dry fitted before gluing them together. I had to trim the tabs since they didn't fit into the openings completely because of the dried glue in them. Next let's assemble the bow bulwark and glue inside top timbers. The inner side of the bulwark needs to be beveled. There are two ways to do that trim it beforehand having marked the bevel line with a pencil or trim it after installing on the model using a chisel. I glued them together and noticed that tabs don't fit into the holes. Plywood thickness can vary with humidity as well as different batches can have different thicknesses. The total thickness is about 1 mm more than needed. It's not a problem. I will partially cut the tabs and then will simply file the bulwark.
The first top timbers doesn't fit as well because of the bulwark section which needs to be trimmed. All top timbers have been glued, and now the bulwark in the bow can be fixed. A large step on the inside of the bulwark can be seen here. I will fix it by gluing in a piece of veneer and smoothing with sandpaper. The port side has been sanded with 80 grit sandpaper. All steps have been smoothed. The starboard side hasn't been sanded yet so the difference could be seen. There is a little bulwark sag in the bow at both port and starboard sides. This spot can be filled with filler or left as it is, the cavity is not that big and it won't be visible after the final planks are glued. Having lined a piece of wood with inner bulwark, I noticed how large the step was. I will fix this spot with a piece of veneer. The hull's geometry didn't turn out to be perfect but it is sufficient anyway. Next, the deck can be glued but first, it needs to be prepared. Combings must be installed at the locations of hatches. According to the instructions they should be 0.4 mm below the level of the deck. In my case the step is smaller but I think this will be enough to position the hatches. I will coat the deck with oil and in order for it have some sheen it needs to be polished. You can see here that the surface is not shiny after sanding the other half has already been polished with elastic wheel it's simply made of rubber filled with abrasive material.
It's hard to see the polishing results on camera but you can see reflection if you look at the deck from a side. Next I applied two coats of teak oil. Since the deck has been polished the wood soaks the oil slower and after applying oil it needs to be wiped dry with cloth otherwise the gloss won't be uniform. I'm happy with the result. I like this method better than coating with shellac which I used for Phoenix. The deck is glued with PVA and is fixed with nails at edges. While glue is drying I'm going to attach some stern parts. These parts must be adjusted as they don't fit out of the box. Finally the deck is glued and I covered it with masking tape right away so it doesn't stain when inner bulwarks are glued. I have already glued port side. Everything fits perfectly. I only had to trim the planks a bit in the stern for about 0.7 millimeters. The planking in the bow can be slightly soaked in water so it bends easier. I clamp the planking with clamps and check the alignment with gun ports they should be aligned perfectly it can be seen that the planking is shifted to the bow a bit. Hence the planks must be trimmed in the stern. I cut about 0.2 millimeters and the results are much better.
There is a hole between the deck and bulwark planks it will later be covered with waterways the gunnel plane is shaped using a sanding block that sits against both sides. The top timbers around gun ports and ore ports will be covered with pearwood veneer so they don't stand out. I'll show the results in the next episode. I'm hoping there will be more AVOS videos this fall. Bye everybody, and see you again.